Neon Jacket bringing you another forest guide. Now today I'm going to show you how to get the chainsaw. Um, it should be a very quick and easy guide. It shouldn't take too long and I don't believe there will be any cannibals on the way I'm going to show you. Now I'm starting out at the pit and if I were to look at the mountain I would just want to look to the right and go down this way. Now we're just going to follow this, uh, I don't know if it would be a lake, I feel like it would be a lake because it's a pretty big lake, so we're, that's just what I'm going to go with, it's going to be a lake, and we're just going to follow this for a good bit, um, now once we get over here where that little like ramp of dirt is, I'm going to cross over, so we will want to be on that side of the lake. So right here there's a little shallow part that I suggest you, I mean it doesn't matter if you were to swim over or not, but right here it'll just take up less time. Now in order to tell where we are, we're just going to look at that little village, or yeah the cannibal village, um, and then it will be just across the, the river from it. Now. There is a requirement for doing this cave, at least this area, um, at least this cave entrance, not area, and you will need the climbing axe in order to get down, but this is the quickest and the easiest way to get the chainsaw, so if you don't know how to get the climbing axe, go check out, I believe it was the last video, no, the video before last, to get it. It's a very quick and easy guide. Now, here is where we want to be. All these tents, and there's a boar, and uh, cots, and cages, all this, right along the river. And then we're just going to turn around. There's a cave entrance right here. It's a very straightforward cave, too. Um, now, once we get in here, it'll just be one straight path all the way down. Um all this delicious yummy blood mm. oh god <laughs> okay sorry got scared now once we hit here we're not going to go left we're going to go up and over and go right we're just going to keep on going right until we hit this this is the only reason we have the climbing axe we're just going to attach ourselves to the wall we're going to start climbing down. Come on, I need the light. I believe, alright, it's actually a pretty short wall. Well, I guess the only reason you'll need it is to get out. You could probably jump off that and survive. I don't even think you'd take damage. Now we're just going to keep going down from that climbing wall. And we're going to go down this rope. This, do not jump down, because this is pretty lengthy. So do not jump down this one. Um, I wouldn't even suggest trying terrain clipping your way down. Don't do that either. Just go down. Uh, now from here, we're just going to go straight back. I'm not going to run to make it easier. And we're going to hit here. This is where the chainsaw is. There's some light like that's just for more lighting. Um... Now, there is some gasoline over here. The chainsaw does use gasoline, and just over here, going through that cave where we came from, to our left is the chainsaw. And that is how you get the chainsaw, and as you see, there are no cannibals. I believe if you go that way, there will be a lot more cannibals. Um, so, be cautious. And I also believe that that way comes from uh, the Climbing Axe cave system. So yes, now you have the chainsaw, you can see the fuel meter down at the bottom. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Um, comment what you want to see next if there is anything specific that you would like to see, uh, guide-wise, on the forest. And I hope you guys have a wonderful day. And remember, shine bright, neon bright. Bye!